Well, life's good for Villa fans at the moment. You can walk into the offices, pubs and clubs of Brum with your heads held high. The best start since 1998. The year Arsenal were last beaten here, funnily enough. Just one goal conceded in 360 minutes of Premier League football at the start of the 2014-2015 campaign. On this week's pre-match show, we hear from Alan Hutton, Renaissance man in a claret and blue jersey, and summer signing Ali Sissoko. Enjoy some goals scored against the Gunners. Arsene Wenger's team are looking to bounce back from defeat to Borussia Dortmund in midweek. And we're going to look at two of their recent signings and a talented midfielder in particular, Froggy. Yeah, we're looking forward to the Gunners coming to, to Villa Park. There's always a decent game. There's going to be a big atmosphere. Re renewed optimism with all Villa fans after our you know, really, really fantastic start to the season. And also they're coming here on the back of a really tough week as well. You know, they played the champions in a tough draw last weekend. They were given the runaround by, by Dortmund. So I think they're going to be physically and mentally tired. And I, I, I say it's a shock. For me, it's not going to be a shock if we beat them this weekend. Yeah, what is it about Sanchez, uh, about Wiltshire and about Welbeck that, that is going to concern us? Well, he's part of uh, the signal of change at Arsenal in the last few years because they've been consolidating their debts with the stadium. That's all now sorted out. You know, they've, they've paid it all off. Um, they've now changed direction. They're now buying superstars. Meza Ozil, and particularly this boy, I think he's an absolute superstar. He played for, for Barcelona for, for quite a few years. He's got a decent goal-scoring record as well, uh, considering he, he sort of floats around that, that number 10 position or he can go out wide if he wants to at times. I don't think he's an out-and-out -out striker, but he's the modern ge generation superstar who works his socks off. Incredibly talented. We saw a spectacular goal against Manchester City last weekend. This lad's got everything, Jack. He really is a great player and it, it, it's great to see someone of that quality and ability coming to, to play at Villa Park. Good defending, Froggy, is an art, isn't it? No doubt about it. And that's what Villa have been showing. It's been abs absolutely brilliant. So even the pl players like Sanchez are going to find it difficult to create chances and, and to put them away, such as Villa's newfound solidity at the back. Yeah, well, if you look at Villa's most successful years over the last 15, 20 years, it's been based on a really good defence. Good, uh, particularly a really good, solid central defensive partnership, Jack. And that's kind of what we've got right now. In Vlar and Senderos, I know obviously Vlar didn't play the weekend, and, and Baker came in and, and did a great job. But if you look at the, the two main men in Vlar and Senderos, we've got a real solid partnership in there now. And, and that's really key because you can build everything forward from that. Um, and, and look at the confidence now. They know they can go to Anfield. They, and, and if you know you're not going to concede goals, there's always a chance you can go away on the counter-attack and, and sneak a goal. Um, so the confidence in the dressing room will build and build. Let's see if we can keep this great start going. Mm. I mean, we all look to this period of games thinking, right, this is, a, this is going to be a massive test for us. Let's see how we get on after the next four or five games. We have Chelsea coming up. We, we've got some really tough games. This will be a big game, uh, but it's at home. And the, I don't think there's anything to be afraid of. They've got injury problems as well, Jack, at the moment. Yeah. Might, Jack Wilshire may or may not be in. They may have defensive problems. Um, but we can get at these. With their defensive uh, frailties, we can score goals against this. The question is, can our defence, which has been superb so far this season, can we shut the door at the opposite end? Yeah, Nathan Baker's shirt on its peg there in the home dressing room. You never considered growing a Baker-style beard? Or a Roy Keane-style <laughs> beard, for that matter? Not Actually, mine would go as grey as Roy's, so <laughs> I'm, I'm not too sure I'd want to do that. But, but, uh, but on a serious point, Nathan Baker, you know, we, we talk about superstars and forward players in the Premier League, uh, but what, a, what an outstanding effort that was. He, he was just superb at Anfield, and that will give him great confidence, and, and it just shows that everyone's in it together. Vlar wasn't playing, people were looking at the team sheet thinking, can Baker do it? He certainly did. No, did, did he do it, Jack? He was man of the match, yeah. in my opinion. I thought he was terrific, and, and when you look at the difficulties he's endured over the last couple of seasons, that's when you think, well done, lad, well done. You know, you, you've shown... That, for me, shows bottle and character. To go to one of the toughest places in football, put on a performance like that, he will go on eventually to, to be a, a top-class centre-half. Yeah, thanks, Froggy. Lots of reasons to be optimistic. Then it's a gruelling programme with Chelsea, Manchester City and Everton coming up after this one. But just now, especially on the back of the Liverpool success, it feels like anything's possible. Join us for more on ADTV.